Let's understand how to find percentile in case of uh, group data. If we have group data, what is the approach? First, uh, let's uh, capture the data. We have the class interval 0 to 5, 5 to 10, and it goes up to 35 to 40. Then we have the corresponding frequencies also. What we have to do in case of uh, group data is that we have to find out what is the cumulative frequency. So let me just uh, reproduce them in a row form. So whatever I have in horizontal, let me uh, take it uh, row wise. So class interval reproduced here. Then let me bring the frequencies also. So all the information were reproduced. Now what we have to do is we have to find out the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is nothing but the current frequency added by all previous frequencies. Okay. So for 0 to 5 frequency is 5. Cumulative frequency got to be 5 because you don't have previous. For 5 to 10 the frequency is 8 and cumulative frequency is the previous cumulative frequency of 5 plus current frequency of 8. So it's going to be 13. And for 10 to 15, the frequency is 12. Cumulative frequency is previous cumulative frequency of 13 plus current frequency of 12. And it is going to be 25. And for fourth case, 15 to 20, frequency is 16. So previous cumulative frequency 25 plus current frequency 16. And it is 41. And it goes and goes. It goes up to 35 to 40. And we get 78. And this last cumulative frequency is nothing but the summation of frequency. So we call them as N. Summation of frequency is called as N. And in this case, it is 78. And what is it we have to find now? We have to find out what is P53. That is 53rd percentile. So what is going to be the formula? P53 is L plus. Look at here. This is the point where you have to pay attention. L plus 53 multiplied by n divided by 100 minus m divided by f multiplied by c. So what is the value of this 53 multiplied by n by 100 because that is going to decide many things. The value of 53 multiplied by n which is 78 divided by 100 and the value works out to 41.34. So what you have to do is you have to look across your cumulative frequency table for the value which is greater than 41.34 and what we have is 61 okay what we have is 61 so this 61 is going to be our 53rd percentile class okay this this uh, 61 will represent our 53rd percentile class so let me just uh, remove all this mess so we can have better clarity yeah so let me mark this. This is going to be our P53 class. So now this will give all information for us to proceed further. First, as per the formula, we should know what is L. L is nothing but the lower limit. So this 20 is our L. Then 53 multiplied by N by 100, we know it is 41.34. So let me write L is equal to 20. So we'll write L is equal to 20 here. Then 53 n by 100, we know it is 41.34 minus m. m is nothing but the cumulative frequency in the preceding class. Your P53 class, the fre cumulative frequency is 61. You have to look for the preceding one, which is 41. And that's going to be your m, which is 41. And it should be divided by f. This 20 is your frequency and this is your f. So your, your f is 20. Then you have to multiply it by C. What is C? C is nothing but the width of your class interval. 20 to 25, the width is 5. C is equal to 5. So we can say C is 5. So in this way, we have all the items. And if we do this mathematics, we get 20.085. So we can say 53rd percentile is 20.085.